Hello everybody, so we return already in a second part here to the Electra 1 controller which got a firmware update 3.1 and this gives us much more possibilities what we can do with the device. So first step, make sure that you update your controller here to firmware 3.1. Also make sure that you install the template of Driven by Moss for the Electro One also to update that because it changed quite some things. Like for example, that we have a new session mode now, which many users requested to have. The most exciting feature at this update is that we have now touch sensitive knobs, which does not only give us things like touch automation, but I came up with a really cool idea to quickly change pages. Because currently for changing the page, you need to keep it pressed and then you can go somewhere else. And now with knob touches, we can do something cooler. Because I came up with the idea to touch three knobs at once as a gesture. So I call it knob gestures here, knob touch gestures, gestures. And with that, you can switch pages. So it starts on the left with the mixer mode. So you touch the first three knobs, you're straight into the mixer mode. How cool is that? You touch the next three buttons and you're straight to the sense mode. Next one is straight to the device control mode and so on. Here we are in equalizer mode and then it continues here with a transport mode and finally we have the new session mode and this speeds up things massively back to mixer back to transport control start playback back to mixer to adjust things this is awesome <laughs> okay you notice i'm enthusiastic about that there's more gestures. So another one is shift, but we'll look into that in a second. First, our thing to notice is that we have now relative knobs, not the full version yet. We have a kind of preview of relative knobs and these look like this. So now with that one, you can change the play position and you also get the information about the time. So we have two minutes and 37 seconds here and the other one gives the information about the measures, beats and bars. So we are at the bar 52 currently. And this is now also consistently on all pages. So also here on the sense or the transport, wherever you go. And if you want to transport, you see tempo is now not only on buttons, but you can now also change this here with the relative knobs. And yeah, that's it's also quite nice to change the tempo as well. And that's where also the shift function comes in handy. So you can do shift by touching these three knobs. So this is now shift and shift has currently only one function to give you a slow down relative knob. So you can now fine adjust the tempo. And as well, this works here for the play position. So also if you touch your shift, you can slowly change the play position if you want to go into more detail. Also, we wanted to look into touch automation. First, we need to enable clip automation and let's first start with writing some automation. Let's for that example, go to volume automation. We start the playback on the clip and start recording here the clip automation stop playback and you see it here already we have drawn that in and now we want to override it with touch so we can say we want to go back to transport say touch and then you go back to volume automation and now it's only writing data if we are touching the knob or let's Activate that again, so we are ready to record. Let's start playback, touch the knob, fiddle a bit, stop playback. And you see, we only have overridden the part as long as I touched the knob. There's also a small detail. We can now set the parameter values formats in much more nice ways. So for example, you see here, you have now the dB numbers written on the volume. Also, you have the percentage written on the panorama control. And especially if you go on the parameter page, you see the values of the parameters are also now formatted. For example, the octave here, or also percentage, instead of only having the numbers to 127. 
But there's also something broken. Apparently the group had us Arnold overwritten and said, so you do not see the track names. I hope that this will get fixed soon. And I heard already firmware 3.2 is in the works and I hope that this will fix this issue again. Another issue when I switch here the modes, I sometimes notice that the buttons become inactive in that case. I could fix it if I long press one of the slider and then left it again, it was working again. So if you run into the issue, try if that fixes it. For you also this is documented and looked into and i hope this will also get fixed in the next firmware update by the way this long press i think i did not show that in the first demo so you can all the faders you can touch them and then fine tune them also with touch and this is especially nice in the equalizer so if we have an eq device added on a channel and there is here now the different filter type so you can long press them and then nicely also select the filter for example you want here the notch filter and this is a little bit quicker i think than trying to find it here with the knob so also a little detail to know i kept the best for last do everybody was asking about session mode can we have session mode and yes we have session mode now as well and session mode works like this you have five scenes so five rows of clips as well and you have five tracks as well so an area of five dot five grid is available and you see also here this yellow area where you can access the clip so maybe let's go back to that project i think there are some clips in there as well or not too much it's good for explanation because you see the clips who have a name which are not very meaningful they just have here the name bounds are uh, written here on uh, the track and if they don't have a name the track name is showed in brackets so you have a little bit of orientation where you are in your project and also the empty clips contain the track name which is especially helpful if you start out with an empty project maybe let's go back to that one so you can see that better so this is an empty project but nevertheless you see where you are because the track names are spelled out here as well so how does it work back to the other project again you can start a scene you can start the second scene third scene and so on so you see here the playing clips are in green and also the selected one is drawn here in this lighter version so if you select that one it becomes green and playback starts and we also have uh, some functions and navigation functions so first thing is navigation if you open that you see this kind of bird's eye view where each of these buttons represents a 5.5 area so you can quickly move in your project so you see how the bar jumps around and this will contain here the number of the scene and the track number as well. Or you can also do that here manually or go only in one direction. So you can go to the next five tracks, go back the tracks as well as go to the next scenes and also back to the next scenes. This works as well. Closing it by pushing this button again. And there are also functions. And in the empty project, let's activate functions. And if you activate that, you will see that the scenes get replaced with the function name. So we have five functions. It's new, delete, duplicate, quantize, and stop. So let's start with new. If we activate new, everything you press here will get a new empty clip. So for example, let's push here that one and you will see we have here a new empty clip created. Also, you see in this very dark red, the track which has here recording enabled as well. So hopefully helpful. What else do we have? So we can also create multiple clips. So each slot you select here will get now a new clip. And the same works for delete. So if you have delete selected, you can delete these clips again and also this works nicely also duplicate i think is clear so if you touch that one it gets duplicated into the next slot we have quantize so let's quickly enter some not quantized notes so you can see that and if we then same here quantize mode select the clip and you will see the notes get quantized. So last one is for stopping clips uh, in case you have some clips playing, for example, 
our very representative <laughs> easy notes clip here and then we go into functions you have now the stop function and then you can also stop that clip same is for the whole row so whichever clip you select of that track will stop the playing clip of that track so much for the session mode and i kept the best and coolest function for the last one and this one people have been asking about as well and this is one of the main features actually of the electro one that if you go here you can select individual editors for specific plugins or external hardware devices as well for example here from UE, i showed also the last time you have this diva controller and i added now that you can directly jump to the specific editor and back again also with this knob touch gesture so how does it work let's first go back here to driven by most the preset here in the Electro One needs to have the exact same name as the name that shows up for the plugin. So let's check that out. Let's replace here this Polysynth with a Diva instance. So Diva is just called Diva and that's also the name as you see here Diva. Same works with Repro, but the names are normally different. I did not find an easy way to rename presets on the Electro One, so you really need to copy it into your personal preset area, then you can rename it by editing and then send it back. So that's a bit of a hassle and I hope this is also something I report and hope that an easier solution for renaming such a preset will be provided soon as well. So now let's finally show that. So we have now a track with Diva on it. And let's go back, for example, we're in Mixer here. And then I use as a gesture the last three knobs. So touching the last three knobs and we're straight here into our Diva editor, which is so cool. And how to get back? Just touch the exact same knobs and you're back in the Mixer. And I think this is just awesome. One thing to note, there's also one issue currently with knob touches. Knob touches are only sent if the selected row of the knobs you touch, which are they are currently controlled, needs to have a content. So for example, if I go back here to Diva, which means if I'm here on a top row or in that row, they need to have content. If I would be in a second row, it will not work to go back because it misses to items here. I hope this will also be improved in an update, but so far notice that. So if you're on the last one, it will also work to jump back. But if you're wondering why you cannot jump back, just check there is some content in there. Also as a workaround, you can simply edit it and put a black button in it, for example, and then it will also work for the time being. And I think this makes this device very, very special. You can directly jump to these specific editors and this is really, really fun. And you can also tweak those editors to your hearts alike also at the specific waves and things here you can select them and that's a really really powerful tool to have. One detail to note if there is nothing found so for example for the EQ plus there is no first let's jump back here for the EQ plus there is no specific editor besides the normal EQ editor so if I touch that now it will jump to the normal remote control device editor as a workaround. Yeah, great update for this thing. So firmware 3.1 brought a lot of cool features, more targeted directly the door. And I'm sure that's the next firmware, which is already in the works. 3.2 will fix the issue I showed. But also with this issue, it's very, very powerful and a big addition now to the first release. And I hope you enjoy it. Dig it and make some funky music. <laughs>